Hey guys, it's Chase. Welcome back to a new video. Real quick, I want to say big thanks to Alex and Big Boss of Northridge Fix for giving me a shout out on their newest video. I'm so thankful and I just I can't even believe that you guys shouted me out. It's just unreal. So uh, thank you to all of you guys that came and checked out the channel and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, we're going to take a look at a Nintendo Switch that a customer just dropped off that does not power on. They said it's his kid's Switch and he has no idea what's going on with it. So we're going to find out if this thing is fixable or not. So real quick, I'm just going to take a look at the scope. See if the USB-C port is good. And it looks fine. So the USB-C port is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and see what the amp draw is on the switch. So the switch is doing 15.3 volts at 0.16 amps and it does show the charging symbol. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a known good battery in this switch and we're going to see if it powers on. All right, so I got the back of the switch off and I got the Olu battery unplugged. So we're going to go ahead and plug this battery in. Okay. We're going to power it on, see what it does. Any Nintendo logo? There we go. That's something. And So apparently just Nintendo logo and that's it. Nothing else. Now let's plug a charger into it and see what it does here with the known good battery. Alright. Alright, so it's charging normally. 15.2 volts at 2050 amps. Alright, let's get the board out and let's start checking around for any shorts. Alright. So I went ahead and I pulled the board out here. We're going to check for shorts now. There's nothing there. Okay. Alright. Nothing. No, nothing there. Okay. Anything here? No fuse. Fuse is fine. Figured it would be. Check the caps here. Okay. Alright. So, the console's charging normally, it's taking amps normally. So, my initial thought is this I have a hunch that it could be this booster I see right here. Now, the reason I think it's the booster I see is because I've had devices where they don't want to turn on if the battery detection or the battery pin detection chip uh, isn't working properly, where it can't actually tell that the battery pins are on the board. So I'm, I'm going to take a good guess here and I'm going to replace this chip and see where we go from there. So let's replace the chip. All right. Supply some flux here. Turn on the fume extractor. All right, today because I'm feeling good, we're using 365 Celsius and 80 for the air speed. Perfect. All right. Got that IC off. My friends is good. Go ahead and clear this up real fast. You can see those pads are flat. You don't need to use wick here. You can if you want to, you do not have to. And if you are new to fixing circuit boards, at least on the switch, if you want to know where pin number one is, you can see this arrow here. This is pin number one. Okay. Here's our IC. Right there. Let's put some flux right in this area. Just really lightly because we don't really need much. Just a little bit. Alright. Get the IC in its general place here. Alright. 
That'll do for me. And then we're going to use a much lower airspeed here. I'm going to use 45 for the airspeed. I feel comfortable with that. Now I'm going to approach the board slowly because this IC will blow away. Now the IC should just float right into place, and it did, just about here. I am happy with that. Also the plus symbol here represents uh, the circle for pin number one. All right. Let's clear up this area. So at least now we've replaced the battery de uh, pin detection IC. That way we know what is going on here with the chip. All right, let's take a look at the solder balls here. Oh, they looking nice and fresh, my friends, looking fresh. Nothing. So it's charging, but completely dead. Okay, so I ended up deeming this switch a no-fix. I did a little bit of research on my favorite Facebook group, Game Console Repair Legion. And after doing some research there about the Nintendo logo flashing up for a couple seconds and going away, I came to the realization that if a bad battery doesn't fix it and a bad game cart reader doesn't fix it, more than likely it's a NAND issue and nothing else that we can really fix. So this is one of those videos that I wanted to make where this is no fix for us, but it at least shows you guys in the future, if you come across this problem, it flashes a Nintendo logo and goes off and nothing else, it charges fine and still doesn't turn on, that you guys don't waste your time trying to work on something that's a no fix. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for sticking around, and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.